Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rocketeer. I have been casting grains for my 54 millimeter motors, so I thought I would just take a minute and talk about them. Uh, this is one of the grains right here. I've been using sorbitol for my fuel because it burns a little bit slower, it's uh, more consistent than say sucrose, and it's just more dependable. And this is what I've been using. I've been very happy with it, flown it all summer. And actually I've been making sugar grains for about five years now. I first started out uh, in the 54 with these, uh, a 1200 case. This one's a 1600. And recently I upgraded to the 2000 case uh, for a larger rocket in a field that I had some more room to fly on. And uh, I've been very happy with this one. It has a lot of kick off the uh, rail and uh, is capable of lifting a heavy rocket. Uh, since then, I have upgraded to another case, a 2800. Yeah, this thing's a beast. And it has a high LD ratio or length to diameter ratio. And what that means is, is that the core is very long and the core will give us a lot of thrust off the rail. So this should be very powerful, somewhere around the K840 or so, depending on how fast it burns. If it burns a little slower, it might be a K800. If it burns a little faster, maybe a K850. Uh, either way, it's a lot of thrust. So I'm really looking forward to it. This is a seven grain case. I'm going, you can make it with anywhere between six and eight grains, but I've elected for seven. And the 1600 is four grain case, and this one is a five grain case. So anyways, I've been very happy with the sorbitol motors I make. Uh, they are inexpensive as compared to fuel that you would buy, APCP. Uh, they don't have quite as much uh, specific impulse or as much energy as the APCP, but you can just add grains or use a larger case. Either one of them works. Save a little bit of money, and I enjoy making the fuel. A couple of other things I've started to do is make my own nozzles out of graphite. This is a number 39 that I made for that 2800 case. As you can see, it, it's a pretty good sized nozzle uh, because that case is really long. But uh, I've started turning these on my Harbor Freight mini lathe and uh, graphite is easy to turn. Makes a big mess unless you're set up with a good vacuum system to draw the chips and the dust away. These are reusable and I'll probably get maybe 10, 12 uses out of it, maybe more, not really sure. Uh, that depends on how well it's treated. But uh, graphite has some really unique properties uh, like I said, it's reusable. It's um, easy to chip or break, though, if you drop it. But it will take an amazing amount of heat. Just hard to believe how much heat that they will tolerate. And it will tolerate over a 1,000 pounds of pressure, no problem at all. So I really like using these because you can use them over and over. And I can just make different sizes on my mini lathe. Another thing that I started to do is make the forward closure. And this is again for a Loki case. This is made out of 6061 aluminum. And I think you can see there it's tapped for a quarter 20. So I have the uh, groove here for the O-ring. And uh, this little shelf area here is for the, um, the thermal liner to slide over it. So I've made a number of these. They're, they're fun to make. Uh, I wouldn't call myself a machinist, but it is possible. I am a woodworker. And if you have a little skill and a little time, uh, it is possible to make them on a mini lathe. I've also made a bunch in the 38 millimeter size. So some of the things I'm working on next is I'm going to do a ground test on that 2800 motor to make sure everything performs like I think that it should. Okay, so last thing I want to do is have a fiberglass rocket and the fiberglass all over the ground. So I'll make sure that everything performs like I think it should. And I'm also going to make some more sugar motors for this uh, cone shaped uh, saucer here and uh, I'll be talking about that more. I'll try some different length motors, maybe some different uh, fuels for it too. So that should be fun, easy and inexpensive. If you stick around to the end you'll see the flight on the 2000 case which I think was pretty good in my Formula 98 and uh, also I burned off some excess fuel that I forgot to put my desiccant in and it got a little bit damp so uh, I just decided to throw it in a can and burn it off and I thought it looked pretty cool so I'll share that with you.
flaming bucket of fire. Well, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video.